channel. I'm your favorite judge, Jacinta, yet today again with a new pick up fire reading. And this topic, you already know we're gonna be knowing which God God is are you. So, what power that you got in yourself, and if you really define yourself as a God or Goddess, then what type of God Goddess are you? Are you the God of love? Are you the God of flow? Are you the God of fire and passion? Or are you the God or Goddess of curiosity? God or Goddess of opening new adventures like you know going here and there and you know having the power of all animal kingdoms so we are gonna be knowing the exact type of a god goddess you are so i know it is a, it's, it's it's gonna be a fun reading but it's all about knowing your potential your higher value so that you can know yourself you can use your magical power to benefit yourself to give yourself the worth that you really deserve my group number one two three four because i do believe you guys are my soul tribe you are exactly clicking on this video and every one of you each one of you are powerful unique and different from others okay so you guys got some kind of different special type of power that is unaware of you okay you you, you really don't know that like, what type of power that you got in your soul and it's hidden that's already sleeping inside of you unless you wake that up okay so today's video is gonna be all about knowing your hidden true self okay so if you're new to my channel have no idea what is going on let me tell you i am an intuitive channel reader i use my intuition and magical power to channel messages from angels and universe to guide you guys this is the early intuitive best reading my darling trust your intuition and trust your gut feelings in order to choose the perfect group for yourself my group number one you got the garden of venus that is rest and renewal card number 25 this is my group number one i hope you can see the card right this is my group number one garden of venus rest and renewal wow my group number two you got the spirit of the river movement towards adventure card number 50 okay let me focus it yeah i hope it's focused right my darling look at that amazing card spirit of the river my group number three you got the beloved radical acceptance Card number two. This is my pile number three. Wow, amazing. Can you see the fiery heart? Wow, this is my pile number three. And my pile number four, last but not least, you got the stranger curiosity. Card number 53. Ooh, such a powerful card it is. So, my darling, let me give you a beautiful closure look so that you can choose the perfect group for yourself, whatever you are drawn to. And then I will give you that amazing you know timestamps and everything so that you go and click the exact perfect timestamps that is your pile and you can see the video and my darlings if you're not into my soul type go ahead subscribe to my channel and join in fine in my family and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified by youtube whenever i upload new videos and i upload every day i upload every freaking day because i love to get in touch with your energies okay my darling so let me give you the beautiful closure look and let's go to your reading hello my darlings my beautiful pile number one so you choose the garden of venus let me tell you my darlings you got the part of beauty you are the goddess of beauty you are the goddess aphrodite you are the goddess of wisdom you are the god or goddess of wisdom and beauty i can see lakshmi i can see goddess saraswati i can also see aphrodite or if you really want to know some god's name then i am getting zeus also lord jesus I can see Lord Krishna, my group number one, you got all the lots of varieties, it's all about beauty, love, affection, nurturing, mother figure or father figure, I'm getting king of pentacle or queen of pentacle vibes already from the garden of Venus rest and renewal, my group number one, you are someone, you got the power to give other people the pleasure, the healing that, that, that they really need, I'm getting my group number one, you are someone, you got the power to move from anything that is stagnant that is really not working for you and for others because the place of all is well the garden of venus is you know these cards mean motto is all is well rest and renewal and self-acceptance 
you are weary and it is time to rest deeply and be renewed go into this sacred garden alone as there is no need for another to be present to experience its pleasure really stop looking for the other enter by yourself allow your sense to intoxicate you leave all thought behind lose your analytical mind and return to your body in the garden of venus there is a steel pond that shows you your reflection when you stoop down to drink who is the straight back at you who is really staring back at you it's exactly you that you are gonna be becoming that beautiful god goddess that you are rinse your face with this healing water practice deep acceptance love who you are love who you are turning into my group number one i am getting you are the god or goddess of acceptance love you know you know my darlings you are the goddess radha you are the god krishna you got the vibe that um is all about love you can accept other people so easily you can give love to other people so easily you are the most nurturing person ever living in this earth my group number one believe it or not nobody can break your heart because your heart is so huge your heart is so smooth that nothing can break that heart not even like nothing not not bad words or nothing even if you feel like your heart broken you can heal it okay you can heal yourself you can heal others with your words with your thoughts my darling you're unstoppable you're blooming you are like a spring season your aura is like a very bright white or light green or i can see some purple or pinkish vibes you are like this flowers can you see the card my darling you are like this amazing uh blooming spring season your energy your aura is all about very flowery abundant successful you are here in this earth to bring lots of peace and love to other people's life you bring lots of happiness um to wherever or whoever you meet you bring lots of acceptance in the people that you meet okay so you got the power to make amazing friends uh to make that you know to make other people feel that no matter who they are what they are you can accept them as the way they are also also my darling you accept yourself you don't judge yourself you uh, you help other people to have a non judgmental type of a look my group number 1 you are someone very much compassionate i can see compassion is here so your power is love affection your power is good behavior if you really want to get success my darling stay focused on your good behavior because when you behave well with other people when you give love you you always attract lots of love so if you want to attract love if you want to be someone that every everybody loves everybody appreciate it then give love giving love is the best way so that you can attract lots of love abundance and honest people to towards your circle I'm getting my group number 1 you are someone your garden is so intoxicating that even a poisonous people those poisonous energies can enter and turn into the honey I'm getting my group number 1 you got the vibe you got the energy you transmute all the negativity into the positive one and you heal you change other people's chemistry you change other people's uh, chemical uh thing in their body okay Whenever people are really talking with you having a conversation or just you know having a small chat their mind change you you make them feel refreshed my darling you are exactly like that lime soda okay you are exactly that refreshing lime soda that everyone likes that everyone love it you are so intoxicating nothing can breaks you okay nothing can breaks you even poison becomes more healing when that comes towards you so you got the forgiveness you forgive other people my darling your power comes from forgiveness you know my darling forgiveness is the quality of divine power forgiveness is the quality of divine god have that quality god is very forgiving lord jesus is the most forgiving god is god god ever okay because i'm getting lord krishna lord jesus or whatever whatever like allah lord buddha whoever whatever the divine power they got the power to forgive because they understand why people do those mistakes why people do this kind of behavior why that, that bad karma produce this is all about nonsense things or knowing nothing about the true things 
okay i'm getting the forgiveness is like you forgive people very easily so you got the power to forgive other people and you don't hold any grudge my darling i'm getting that you don't hold any grudges you don't you don't hold on to to take those revenge from other people no you're not like that you forgive Forgiveness is something that makes you more stronger every time, okay? You got the power to forgive people. You, Oh my God, you got lots of potential, my darling. You can become anything that you want. You have the power to become anything that you want because you are an old soul watching my video, my group number one. You are an old soul. You can become exactly whoever, whatever you want to become. You got the power. If you want to be a doctor, engineer, scientist, chemist, or actor actress healer or anyone like you know anyone if you want to go for id go for that if you want to become a psychologist go for that if you want to go for you know some humanity science commerce everything is open for you because you are someone you are like the garden of venus you got that energy and you got lots of flowers in yourself so nothing is new for you nothing is impossible for you so my darling believe it or not you got the power that you can do best in any field Believe it or not, my darling, you got that vibe. You got that vibe. Maybe in this lifetime, you really don't know that what your potential is. Maybe one lifetime is very short to understand your potential. That you're going to be, you know, having lots of life before coming into this lifetime. You have, you know, like, you are an old soul, my darling, okay? You already know how to do things. You already know how things really work. Transformation, definitely, my darling. You are someone that you do transform time to time. You do transform time, time to time. You do make yourself more type of a new person, more updated version, more renewal, more most renewed and person because you love transforming yourself, your body, your spirit, your mindset. Exactly, whoever, whatever you are, my group number one. Okay, transformation is your blessing. And maybe you really don't know or maybe, you know, that those transformation happens unknowingly. Like you are really not uh, not aware that you are changing, that you are transforming. But you do transform, my darling. You And also, my darling, you are the transformation that is really entering into many people's life and changing their life for better. I'm getting my group number one. Like you enter into someone's life and you change their life for better. Okay, you change their uh, thinking level, you change their uh, way of seeing things and wanting things. You, you, you really are like some catalyst. Mm. What else, my darling? What power you got? Wow, you got Lita, that is intensification. My darling, you can't make anything so powerful that other people have no idea. My darling, let me tell you, maybe uh, suddenly you want to open a company and you open the company and that company is starting new business and is getting success in no time. And other people find that, oh my God, how you, how you really do this? How you really just, you know, open that randomly, just opening a company or something and getting success? How you just, you know, start something new and getting success without even investing lots of time or money in that? How you when you do that, my group number one, this is your power. Like you can focus on one thing and that place, that domain of your life, that area of your life just flourished. You got that vibe because you got the garden of Venus. You got the power of rest and renewal. You got the power of love. You got the power of healing. So no matter how disaster the thing is, no matter how ridiculous the situation is you know how to make it work on favor of you you know how, how to make it uh properly perfect for you you just know how to work with a uh, disaster or problematic situation you just know how to deal with this negative situation because you've got the power so negativity cannot really stays in you because you mix everything positive okay you are the light that when darkness comes towards you the darkness also becomes light Okay, you are you are that light, my group number one. That you got the power of light. Like no matter where you go, you can see everything. You can see everything so clearly that darkness come towards you and they vanished because you are the light. You are the light. Wow. Then you got the okay. You got the hand fastening, hand fastening that is union. 
So definitely my group number one, you are someone that you are going to be getting a huge success after marriage or after having a partnership business with your soulmate, with your husband, with your uh, wife or with your future life partner. I'm getting that. Or maybe you are going to marry your uh, business partners in the future. So it may happen before marriage or after marriage. I'm getting my group number one. You got the power that partnership is something unionship is something that will make you successful that you make you more powerful in your career so marriage is something that is going to be taking place in your life and that will really bring uh, lots of success in your career i don't know why but i'm getting definitely my group number one if you are drawn to group number one and if you're still listening to group number one then marriage in your life is going to play a great role when it comes to your career okay I don't know your career which will flourish or your money flow will you know start beginning and you know, very 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 fast the money flow is huge huge success feeling happy the unionship okay the love relationship the marriage that unionship that coming togetherness or having the marriage or opening the Navamsha chart is really going to give you huge success in your career or huge success as a person so you will feel that you are a lot successful after getting that unionship with your true soulmate i'm getting you're going to be marrying your soulmate okay so let's go see some tarot my group number one okay let's go see some tarot cards as well okay what is exactly there for you so you are the god or goddess of love you are the goddess goddess a god or goddess of attraction love affection healing motherly or fatherly vibes you are someone you make other people feel that they are protected whenever they are under your supervision you give other people protection you got the ma durga vibes okay like god is durga yeah you got that vibes or Lord Shiva vibes, okay, like you, you make, uh, not Lord Shiva, sorry, uh, Lord Vishnu, okay, you make other people feel that they are protected whenever they are with you, yeah, you got the eight of earth, you got a lot of um, sustenance towards yourself, okay, like you can hold on to any kind of energy that you want to build in your life, uh, just for example, you will be very, very, very consistent when it comes to relationship, hardworking when it comes to relationship, very much hardworking and devoted to your work, to your love partner, to yourself. You are someone you can hold on to anything. You're like a tree. Once you um, go to the deep, deep, deep ground, you just stand there and don't and don't care that how much you know strong the storm is because you know you are deeply rooted to the ground and no storm can uproot you you got the vibe my group number one that nobody can really make you go away from exactly the thing that you really want to do so you got the power because you got eight of earth Taurus or Capricorn maybe earth is your sign or you got lots of art artness towards yourself okay also the money is here maybe also I told you a lot God is Lakshmi is here so you can call yourself like that okay so you are really bringing money because of your hard work wow number eight is here number eight is ruled by saturn number eight is all about infinite wealth success infinity lots of material things material again you got the number 14 patience that is sagittarius okay so i'm getting the patience is already telling me you are very much compassionate you are you are you have the power that you can get patient sometimes if you really think that's the best choice that you have my group number one, you are someone, you are a very loyal and committed person as a lover and as a business person. Because these two cards is the most loyal card. You can wait for the perfect one. You can wait for the, um, you know, return. You can wait for something to to grow and then give you the fruit you can wait for the result with the patience cut my darling you can mix two things up together and create something new out of it my group number one the patience card is all about telling me that you can be very much patient sometimes when other people lose patience but you are like no you're gonna be having lots of patience in order to get something huge in order to get something successful in order to get something that you really deserve 
because I'm getting my group number one. You are you will never be sacrificing your best things to get something new. You will do hard work for that, but you will never do any kind of trading to get something that you want. The five of water definitely whenever you feel that you are lost, when you feel that you really don't know what to do, my darling, that's the point that you are gonna be making lots of big, huge decisions in your life. Whenever you feel like you, 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 you are really not having enough for yourself, you want more. And at this point of time, my darling, you're really going to be taking lots of life-changing decisions. And it's crazy that every time you are really going through some transition, some transformation, you do something crazy and your life keep changing uh, in that twist. Wow. Your lifestyle and everything. It's, it's becoming more luxurious. It's, it's becoming more successful. So what these two cards that you've got? Okay, three cards you got. So you got the Hierophant. Hierophant is all about Taurus energy, about legal person, orthodox type of person. Six of earth and three of water. Definitely you are someone you love to enjoy time with your family. You love to enjoy time with yourself, with, uh, with your friends or someone. Three of water is someone that you enjoy. You love to enjoy. Also, six of art, you're a very good business person. You can do business very well. You're honest. You're powerful. You're honest. You're also very much successful in your job, in your career, whatever you do, because I got the star. The star is definitely definitely telling me that my group number one in whatever you do, study, career, job, whatever, you are going to be getting name, fame, success because of that. Okay? I'm seeing the name and fame is yours. Like... People will really love your thing that you are doing. Everyone is going to be appreciating you, loving you, giving you lots of, you know, positive energy, positive vibe that, yes, you can do that, you can do that, you can become that one. I got that vibe, my group number one. So what type of goddess are you? You are the goddess that really help other people feel more uplifted when others are really going uh, with a bad day or with a bad feeling. You always make other people feel that they are worthy of something better. You are the god or goddess of wealth, money, success. You also give lots of appreciation to other people when they're really trying to do something different from others. You are very much romantic. Also, you are the goddess of marriage. I'm getting um, Lalita Tripura Shindari, also goddess Bhuvaneshwari. All of these vibes are so similar. You really bring lots of good, fortunate people together. You really love to have some intuition as well. And you want to manifest everything that you really want. So I'm getting my group number one. You are the god or goddess of manifestation. You are the god or goddess of um, healing, a healer, preacher, teacher. You are very much transformative. You yourself is a psychic or someone. Yeah, you got that vibe. And my darling, let me tell you, your marriage, your unionship is going to be you know, playing a great role in your career. A great huge role. Because the Hierophant... And hand fasting, both of them are coming exactly side by side. That means, like, Mary is gonna be playing a great role when it comes to your God, Goddess power. That's all I got for you, my group number one. I hope you like this video. So, my darlings, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon so that you can refer back to you whenever I put new videos. Till then, stay blessed and happy. I love you guys so much. Hello, my amazing group number two. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So you choose the spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. This is your reading. So I'm already getting that you are the god or goddess of transformation. You are the god or goddess of divine flow, divine timing. You are like that uh, Shudarshan Chakra that really Lord Vishnu has. Shudarshan Chakra is not a chakra. It's not a weapon to kill anybody. It's basically the wheel of fortune. It's basically the timeline. Okay. So when the Shudarshan Chakra is really going to be helping you, it's going to be bringing you lots of fortunate time, happy time, positive time because you have done some good karma. And when some negative things are going on, then that is exactly giving you the bad karma's result. So I'm getting you are exactly that the God or God is of transformation, God or God is of life changing, God or God is of ultimate change. Or you can be the like wife of Zeus or the mother of Persephone. I'm sorry, my darling, I forgot the name of the goddess. Um, the mother of Persephone or the uh, wife of Zeus. Okay, I'm getting that. Because Persephone's father is Zeus and... Zeus's wife, who is the mother of Persephone. You you got that vibe, okay? 
um, also my darling I'm getting that change -ness is something that you really enjoy or if you're really not enjoying and resisting any change -ness, basically you are not ac accepting your power because your power comes when you love to change when you love to transform when you love to come out of your comfort zone and exactly show the world the real you and show yourself exactly the real you and do not ever listen to anybody or do not ever try to change yourself by listening to anybody else okay so i'm getting that when this card appears it is time to say yes to the next leg of your journey your life is like a river inevitably and like unknown destination is here and flowing to the sea which is your divine destination be fearless and release your soul to the rushing water in the middle of the stream whatever it is you are holding on to the feelings the thoughts the beliefs about how things are or how they should be or could be can be fixed easily with the power of the spirit of the river simply let go and enjoy the thrill of the ride all will be well so my group number two you are the god or goddess of free will so you are someone like I'm getting like a horse type or a lion type. Like you're like a freedom lover, free spirit. You just know exactly what you want to do. You don't need to belong to anybody else. You, you, you don't need to obey to anybody else. You are a free man or a woman. I'm getting that like you are the god or goddess of freedom. You are the god or goddess of independence. You, you make other people feel that they can do whatever they want and nobody can stop them. You are the goddess, goddess of God or goddess of free will or free freedom, independent, independent success. You can no longer be tied down with other people's thought anymore. Yes, you got the vibe. Okay, my group number two, you got this kind of vibe. So first, I really wanted to look at your tarot first. I don't know why. So my group number two, what type of spiritual power? what type of god goddess are you my group number two what type of god goddess are you what type of god goddess are you what type of god goddess are you so you got the ten of fire wow you got the strength yes and you got the eight of air you got the two of water and the page of earth last but not least you got the chariot oh my god I, I told you about change, I told you about challenges, and you got the chariot card, oh my god. Let me tell you, with the chariot cards, definitely you are someone, you love to travel. You may be the god or goddess of traveling. You may be someone that you bring lots of happiness, success, abundance, when you really want to travel, or when you really give the vibe to the universe that you want to travel. Traveling is something that is going to be very important in your life, like changing location, traveling from one place to another, having different type of, you know, uh, memories and dreams, marrying a foreigner. This is the vibe, my group number two, that I am getting. Both of you, you and your future spouse are kind of different. Look at that, the two of water is here, the chariot and two of water. Definitely, my darling, no matter what the situation is, you can overcome it and become the best version of yourself because you got yourself. You got yourself. You don't need anybody else to hold you because you got yourself. The two of water, self-loving card. You're just having your own vibe, own way. You know how to protect yourself. Also with the page of earth, my group number two, if you're not earning money, very soon you will be earning money. You are also the god or goddess of youth. You are the god or goddess of youth or looking beautiful, looking successful and young. I'm getting like you are really going to be looking like in your 20s, whenever you are in late 30s or whenever you are in your 50s, you still look like your uh, middle 20. I don't know my darling, like crazy age DNA that I'm getting. My group number two, you got that amazing power to, to stay younger than the other usual, like other human, okay? Um, also, you got the strength card, so you're going to be physically very strong. You are also the god or goddess of animal. You are also very much blessed with Archangel Raphael. So lions and every you know fearful animal really feel that friendly vibe whenever they are with you. You also got the eight of air, my darling. You got a vibe that everyone is trying to put you to a box and not really you know letting go to see other people or just you know binding yourself a bit more. My group number three, you are the god or goddess of release. Okay, you release those past hearts from anything, okay? Like you help other people to release from their pain. You, you, you really help other people to release 
from something that is really not right or beneficial for that other person okay i got that vibe because with the ten of wands with the ten of wands you may be my group number two sometimes you do some witchcraft or witchcraft or spell casting if you do that then pay attention that how really it's working because maybe sometimes you know it has been hard by universe and it will come at you in a week or 15 days or 14 days but don't be impatient with manifestation that i'm getting i'm also getting my group number two you are someone you are terribly shy or your heart really go crazy whenever you are really trying to meet with your crush or whenever you're trying to talk with your future person i also got that vibe because you are in a way very much like a macho type, confident type when it comes to like, you know, your personality, but you are also a very much shy person. With the strength card, my darling, you got lots of inner power too in yourself, lots of inner power that really makes you more powerful than usual. Okay, you, what makes you more powerful than usual, that is your inner power, okay, the inner power that you got with the strength card so let's go see more other messages as well my group number two three guides my god an angel archangel michael marshall channel message to me for my group number two what exactly there for you yes release i told you you are the god or god is a release and you got the release oh my god let me focus it let me focus it my darling look at that you got the release can you see that and i told you that you are the god or god is a release you are someone that you help other you help others to release something that if that is really not working for them you make other people feel more uh, intoxicating whenever they're with you your pleasure yes you give pleasure you are the god or goddess of pleasure you are the god or goddess of innocence and purity my darling you are a very pure soul who is ever watching my video you got the god or goddess vibe that is all about purity innocent successful honest giving pleasure and also trying to help other people to get the best life out of their well, out, out of their worst. I'm getting the pleasure is here, so lots of money, wealth, success is also here. So maybe you are the god or goddess of success, wealth, honesty, loyalty, lots of money. Exactly, I'm getting that. I'm getting the vibe. My group number two, you are way too successful. Okay. What's more? What's more? What type of God goddess are you? What type of God goddess are you? What type of God goddess are you? Wow, you got the spirit and initiation. So maybe you are someone you're like Hecate. You're like God is Hecate, God is, uh, God is Isis, Astarte, Diana, Hecate, Dimitri, Kali, Nana. You really are like this kind of a, like um, God goddess. It's all about like witchcraft God goddess because you know how really magic works. You know how to communicate with spirits you know how to communicate with dead uh, people you know how to communicate with someone that you really want to communicate so i'm also getting that vibe my group number two what else ace of cups exactly that is chalice and fulfillment my darling i can see there is fulfillment there is success there is lots of abundant success opportunity feeling lucky feeling like you know fortunate uh, very, very very much like you know fortunate time is entering in your life my group number two you are the god or goddess of fulfillment you are like a genie okay you're like the genie from that aladdin okay you make other people's feel wish come true okay I'm getting the vibe. Also, I'm getting my group number two. That you are someone, you're quite very much powerful person. As an individual, you're very powerful. Mm. What else is here? What else is here? Let me let me take a card. Okay, invocation, the rituals. Definitely, if you really want to do some rituals, you can do that. And for some of you, I'm getting that if you really want to do that alone, then you can do that. If you really don't want to do with others, then others will never be hitting on you or seeing you. Okay, this type of vibe that I am getting. My group number three. So you got the autumn. That is Watchtower of the West. So autumn and release. Exactly both of them are coming together. Both of them really means release and some protection and trying to understand each other. The autumn is, you know, it's all about warmth and success and feeling like, you know, eating or drinking hot soup. Yeah, that's the vibe that I'm getting. My group number three, you are the god or goddess of fulfillment. 
wish fulfillment dream fulfillment whenever anyone is really wishing upon you you just make that wish come true because you got the power you got the power oh my god you got the power my group number two okay you can talk to the dead people you're like this no witchy god goddess you may be a witchy god goddess or maybe you are someone like you already know what you are doing wow um i'm also getting the invocation is here that is ritual so maybe you are gonna be marrying exactly someone like you who does lots of spell work who, de who, who already done lots of you know spiritual videos or something okay i'm also getting my group number two that you really hate the fact that there is some lo lo loneliness in your family. That's why I know the loneliness is going away because you're going to be really experiencing a very happy, successful life with your, with your energy. Hmm. What type of God Goddess are you, my group number? My group number two, what type of God Goddess are you? Okay, so maybe you are some, like... Pile number two, you are sometimes sneaky or really having some bad ideas to go somewhere without even telling anyone. But it's it's completely safe. It's completely uh, perfect. So nobody is hurt. My group number two, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. My darling, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so that you're going to be by YouTube when I upload new videos. Till then, stay blessed and happy. I love you guys so much. Um, hello, my darling. So, amazing group number three. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, you choose the card that is about beloved and radical acceptance. That is card number two. This is your reading. You are the god or goddess of sex. You are the god or goddess of seduction. You are the god or goddess of hot romantic love. You are the god or goddess of marriage. Mar your god or goddess of uh, passion or uh, having a beautiful body, healthy body. Or you are someone like you got the you are the god or goddess of medicine. Okay, I'm getting the vibe with all lots of fire. Definitely, you are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you are watching. You are a fire sign. But I am getting already that there is a chance that you were heartbroken because of false promises in the past maybe you are someone or maybe you are bringing in to someone like that because um with the beloved beloved card there there is a thing that be careful you are not seduced by false promises or falling prey to your extraordinary ability to sabotage your dreams and desires Sink with and sink into your heart and trust your sense of what is true and you will know what to do. The true beloved is never false ever. Every gift preferred is valued, is valuable. Recognize the many faces of the beloved and welcome them into your heart. You will be glad you did. When the beloved appears, it requires 100% of your heart, body and soul. Don't try to squeeze the beloved into your schedule. Drop the busyness and receive the one you have been waiting for. Know that this card comes as a mirror to show you the divine within you. Invite your radical acceptance of everything. You are considered beautiful and or ugly in your being. The beloved may not be a person at all. It might be a business venture, a project, or an ad adventure calling for your full attention. Love it. Let it, your li let it light you up and give it all you want. Surrender to this truth and know that you are gaining, and gaining a pursuit to bliss. I'm getting my group number two. There is a chance that you... Sorry, my group number three. Sorry. Okay. Because there is group... There is like number two, so I just say group number two. So it's group number three. Let me tell you, you are the god or goddess of acceptance, god or goddess of change, god or goddess of transformation, god or goddess of fire, of warmth, of love and sex and seduction. You are exactly like all active things that a person can do. Like, you know, athletics, like running and doing something sweating this is the vibe the burning desire to be with each other the burning desire is here my group number three so what's there let's go find out to my group number three that oh, what's your true power that you should be knowing okay what's your true power my group number three yes you got the truth you got the truth shattam shivan shundaram you got the love i told you i told you there is beloved and there is love 
I got the opportunity with the card change. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. I already told you, you are the God or Goddess of change. You are the God or Goddess of transformation. You are God or Goddess of the love, passion, seduction. Okay, and I am getting the truth is here because you cannot lie about your love. Because your heart knows if, it, if this is true or false. Also with the opportunity, my darling, I'm getting that you got the vibe. That you can really, you know, take your opportunities and make that exactly properly at your own. The changes are definitely, my darling, my group number three. Whenever some people change in your life, you accept the way they are and you move on. You are very much mature when it comes to relationship. You are very much mature when it comes to choosing the perfect person for yourself, okay? Because you know that if that person really thinks that I am perfect for him, then they will never go. My group number two, you are the god or goddess of trust. You are the god or goddess of action, active. You are the young energy, okay? I'm also getting there is love, and you love definitely entering into your life, okay? My group number three, a new love is entering in your life to give you lots of beautiful experience, okay? To give you lots of beautiful power that you should be having. Okay, what's that? What's more? What's more for my group number three? So you got the, oh my goodness, you got the fire and passion. Oh my God, I love to shuffle in front of you, my group number three. You know what? I love to shuffle in front of you because I love it. Like every time I, I just go for a pile and I can see the beloved, I can see the passion, I can see the fire. You are a fire sign watching my video. You are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got your divine masculine vibes in yourself my group number three wherever you are watching you are passionate you are loving you are adoring you are very much intense whatever you do you're active you love to do lots of work you love to sweat it out you've got lots of passion fire in yourself no negative energy can stand in front of you you are hot you always feel hot you're a very hot seductive person my darling there is love you're the god or goddess of hotness you're the god or goddess of sex god or you are the goddess of aphrodite I already told my pile number one about Aphrodite, but I, I think pile number three and pile number one is connected. If you guys, if you're drawn to pile one, go and see pile one. But I can see you are the god or goddess of seduction. The art of seduction is yours. The art of action, doing action, doing act, passion, that is yours. You are the most passionate person that one can have, that one can know. You are rich, you are successful, you are the god or goddess of money, you are the goddess, goddess of abundance, you are the god or goddess of balance. I can see balance is here, I can see patience and calmness is here, I can see confidence is here, I can see you are like Lord Ganesha, you got lots of confidence in yourself, you got lots of redness powerfulness in yourself you can make a person feel so loved you can you can really give a person the vibe of a true love my darling i'm getting you are the god or goddess of you know flirtatious energy or euphoric energy okay you really give other people the vibe that you can make them go to the next transcendental level and make them feel very much happy with that you are the god or goddess of giving birth to a new child okay so maybe you got the vibe that you can create new things are productive you got that empress vibes you got the sun vibe i'm feeling like you got the sun vibe you are someone my darling you are the god or goddess of sun maybe you are the god son you are the god or goddess of babies children birthing new babies giving birth to new babies giving birth to new ideas productive or you can really give blessing to have a beautiful babies. You are well fertile. My group number two, you are the god or goddess of having big family, huge family. Having inheritance money and ha having a very loyal life. You are the god or goddess of true passion. You are the god or goddess of true fire. You are hot. You are fiery. You are seductive. You are powerful. You are sexy. You hypnotize other people, my group number three, with your sweetness, with your cuteness. You hypnotize other people. You make other people fall in love with you. You got the power. Wow, you also got the ear energy, this imagination. So definitely you are someone you, you oh my God, fire and ear, it's a dangerous communication. 
when the air is added to the fire oh my god that makes the fire more fiery right and you use your imagination to make that passion more strong my group number three you are also the god or goddess of imagination god or goddess of dream maybe you can connect to dreams to your universe dreamology is something that you can go and study you can go and study about the dreams my darling about the imagination about the thought process about procrastination okay sometimes it's like you know just you are dreaming and dreaming and dreaming and you don't know what you should do in the dreaming because those characteristics or whatever you're doing is completely different from your from your imagination oh my god my group number three you are a very meritorious person watching my video you are the god or goddess of stability the stuff is your stability loyalty commitment you're staying long for that thing committed Okay, you are the god or goddess of having long, long, long life. Or that gives other people long life, long relationship, long partnership. You are like a bamboo tree. You are like so strong. You are so lucky that you bring lots, uh, lots of stability in people's life. You bring lots of witchiness in people's life. I'm also getting my group number three. You are someone that if people are trying to hex you, people are trying to give you some negative vibes. My darling, no one can do that. Because you got that evil eye protector towards yourself, okay? The Lord Universe, Lord Jagannath is always protecting you. So let's go find out with some tarot what is exactly there for you. got the patience, you got the temperance vibe that I'm getting. Your patience, you are very much calm, patient, you just know what you're doing. You know how to control your energy, you know how to control your power. You got the full energy or adventures. You just go for new things, risk taker, because after all, you got the fire. That is radical acceptance. You can start anything new at any point of time. So you are also the god or goddess of new beginnings. You are the god Lord Brahma. So you can create some new things. The five of earth is here. That is about you know how to put up with uh, put up with the energy when you're not feeling at your best. The queen of air, that is the queen of sword and the high priestess. You are a psychic, you are a witch, you are. You are someone so powerful that you know you are exactly the god or goddess of moon. Okay, you, you may be, you okay. So I'm getting you are the uh, god or goddess of sun and moon. You know the sun and moon together in spirituality sign. The sun is all about very, very much exploring, extrovert, giving lots of vibes and everything. The moon card is very much like an introvert, secretive. Do not share anything but very much possessive and jealous stuff. And both of them coming together and making this amazing high priestess. My group number three. Definitely were a psychic, witch, tarot reader, spellcaster. You do lots of spellcasting and everything because I'm getting that's the vibe that you got. Mm. My group number three. You are also the god or goddess of clear communication like, like goddess Saraswati. Okay, or someone who does lots of clear communication and a clear things so like, you know, going on and understanding each other's situation. Oh my God. Yes. You are the God or goddess of success. You are the God or goddess of knowledge, wisdom. You're also kind of a nocturnal because you know what? You got the owl. And whenever I see the owl, I really feel like you can get the hidden knowledge, hidden message from different worlds. So you are someone, you're like a, you are, you are, you are someone, you're like a shaman. You, you got the vibe that you can pick up other people's channel message through clouds or to somewhere that I can see or somewhere that I can go in the future. I'm getting my group number two. You are someone like you already know that who you are. You're a very powerful person. You are very powerful. I'm getting that you're very powerful. With the high priestess, definitely you are someone... You're a witch, psychic, powerful. You just you, you just know how to use your mind, how to use your third eye chakra, how to unlock the luck, unlock the amazing um, vision of yourself. You just know that. What type of god goddess are you? You are, you are that sexy go goddess who is very much powerful, passionate, fiery, and look completely different from their power maybe you are someone my group number three that you look completely different from the power that you're going to be using for yourself 
Wow, that's all I got for you, my amazing group number three. I hope you like this video, so give it a thumbs up also, my darling. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you're going to be able to when I upload new videos. Till then, stay blessed and happy. I love you, darling, so much. Hello, my darlings from amazing group number four. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So you choose the card that is card number 53, the stranger. The other moving the other or moving past fear of differences, curiosity and acceptance. I'm already getting my group number four. The stranger moves through the world in a shroud of darkness that often elicits fear, rejection or uncertainty as the danger of the unknown defines its very presence. Yes, there is a veil of separation between you. Look closer and summon the courage to remain open to what you might find. You may be conditioned to look only for what mirrors what is safe and known to you, refusing to entertain any concept of other beyond something to fear. In order to broaden your world and experience of it, you must refute to illusion you must you must refute the illusion that sameness is the only way nothing you nothing you expect externally matches up with the other and you are challenged by your own inexperience but don't miss this opportunity nor for learning i'm getting my group number four you are the god or goddess of new things new learnings you are the god or goddess of Falling in love with an unexpected person. I'm kidding. I don't know why, my darling. I just, I know God is two cards. The lovers and two of cups. While understanding the stranger card. Then I am getting the vibe that my group number four. You are the god or goddess of like strangers falling in love. Or god or goddess of love marriage. Yeah. Who is the god or goddess of love marriage? I don't know. Lord Shiva and Parvati. Okay. Or maybe you, you are the God, God, Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. Or maybe you are the... Um, you're someone like very romantic. Very, very romantic. And you really help other people to come together. Also, you give money. You give... You are someone, my darling. Oh, my God. I'm sorry for the noise. Okay. Okay, maybe you are someone, you are the god or goddess of famous, name, fame, success. You're also, because the stranger card is your curiosity is here. So you really got those curiosity to jump into something that you really don't know. Like you got the full energy into yourself. You can jump from the cliff with, with having the belief that angels are going to be helping you to fly. So maybe you are someone... You got a very strong, crazy intuition, and your intuition always lead you to the success that that give you lots of money, that gives you lots of stability. Because I got the King of Pentacles and the Empress. This card, these two cards, always together. So it's all about like you know productivity and coming together, richness, money. You are also the God or Goddess of abundance, success, money, fertility. The God or Goddess of Venus. Okay, I'm also getting the vibe. Also, I'm getting you are the God or Goddess of the officials or you know how to be the bossy one you are the god or goddess of yourself like you are the archangel you got the vibe like if you really want to call yourself as a god or goddess you are above all you can you can really walk away from something to get something better you can control your desires as well when it when you really need to if if you want to have your self-defense and if you think that you need to get out of the way that whatever you want and whatever you don't want, you can be like less confused when it comes to your own protection. My group number three, your group, my group number four, you feel that you need to protect yourself and protect the person that you love very much. So I'm getting you a strong lover. You are the god or goddess of love, god or goddess of protection. You are very much protective. You can be Lord Hanuman. You can be uh, like um, Lord Bhim. Okay, I'm getting this kind of vibe, like very powerful. Or Thor. Yeah, the Thor and... Okay, God Thor is here. What, what is this? That is, you know, fighter, warrior. You are the god or goddess of fighter. Like, you really don't care about unknown things. Oh, something is unknown, you get curious and you jump into that thing. So when there is a saying that don't go there, there is danger, you go there because you want to face the danger 
and understand that what makes that danger the dangerous okay what is the main quality of dangerous things you're someone got a super 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 curious mindset and that's that really makes you amazing uh, reporter or journalist that makes you someone like a healer psychic witch that makes you fictional writer that makes you amazing director that makes you traveler vlogger that makes you someone that can go to any place to do something crazy like a discoverer explorer just go for something new so you are someone you may become a geographer or you can go for your deep research and try to find out some lost civilization or something you may become a historian um, you are also the god or goddess of ancient times. You may be like a god or god. You may be the goddess Bastet. You know the Egyptian goddess. I don't. Why do I? Um, getting lots of Egyptian vibes from this um, pile by group number four. Maybe in the past life you were in Egypt or you were uh, in like in a Babylon type of time or. You've got the ancient thing into your soul. Like in darkness, you can play with your magic. Like, you can create something that can help you and other people have no idea how you got that. Yeah. Yeah, wisdom. You are the God or God of the wisdom. You got the divine wisdom. You know, like, deep down what you need to do. So, you are very wise. Strong Jupiter position is here. The courage is here. Oh, my God. Yes, you are a warrior. You are the God or God is a warrior. Oh, my God. You are the, you are the Lord Mars. You know, God Mars. You are the, you are the Mars. You got the most strong, most position because you are the warrior. You are the god or goddess of protection. So protection, warrior, uh, like a very protective god goddess. You are someone, you know how to protect other people. And you know how to protect yourself, how to protect your family. You got lots of stamina, mental strength, physical strength, wise, wisdom. You are the god or goddess of knowledge. You are the god or goddess of um, deep spiritual wisdom or deep experience to do something you are someone you are fearless you got lots of fearlessness pleasure is here so definitely you are someone you enjoy lots of devilish things like material things as well okay you are also the god of goddess of richness wealthiness or the pleasure is all about like you you enjoy pleasure okay so if you really want to you know uh understand that whatever god goddess you are you are someone like it's all about like money enjoyable things and everything and at the same point of time you're like you know having that warrior kind of a vibe how know how to protect themselves so lots of protective thing is here so one way you are very materialistic and the other way i'm getting are very much protective protective of yourself and protective of the people the person that you love happiness wow you are the god of goddess of happiness or you are the god of goddess of water okay you really okay how can i how can i ignore that oh my group number four it's all about water you may be a pisces cancer scorpio you got a very strong position in water sign in your bar chart because i got the water 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 and this is ocean you are the god or goddess of ocean so you are someone you can rule over your emotions you can rule over other people's emotion emotion is something that you can play with that you can control uh, emotions intuition love also you are unstoppable because water is unstoppable water always makes space to go somewhere no one can control the water because water is everywhere water is life okay water can become destructive as well if it really gets out of hand i'm getting you are the god or goddess of the water the flow you are the god or goddess of the hydrating you know uh, the the ogres the ogres that life force you are the god or goddess of that so if you really try to know that which type of god goddess are you then you are the god or goddess of water emotions intuition secrets you're the god or goddess of curiosity. You are the one that you got the power that you are so mysterious. You make yourself so mysterious. You're always so mysterious. Other people get curious about you. Other people get, get addicted towards you. Other people feel that, oh my God, what the pile number four really got that I don't have it. People don't have it. No one can have it, but only my group number four have it. So why I'm so addicted to my group number four? People get addicted towards you. People, people want to know you. You are exactly the dark corner where people want to go there and explore the more you because you are you are having lots of layers. 
You're having lots of layers. You know how to protect yourself. You know how to protect others. Wow, 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 wow. My group number four. You are amazing. You are amazing. I really want to pull more cards from the amazing Shaman Dreams Oracle. I don't know why, but this, this deck is really calling me. This is only my pile number four that I am really pulling some cards. Water placement is very strong. You've got the Marmot vibes. You are also the uh, god or goddess of Marmot. Seas, fish. Okay, I can see these vibes. Like animal kingdom is something. Like because it is dolphin, this is Marmot. So yeah. So oh my god, a tidy house, clarity and organization number one. So you are the god or goddess of having a perfect family. You know how to happiness and a tidy house coming together. Definitely, you are someone. You are really uh, the god or goddess of having a happy family. You live with family. You are a family person. You are a homebody. You know how to become a family person. You know you help other people to become a family person. I just see the angel number 5959. So the number 9 is all about Mars, about completing everything, about getting everything in uh, 5D into the reality. Sorry, into the 3D, into the reality. And number 5 is transformation. So through transformation, you bring lots of manifestation into your life. Also, tidy house. I'm getting you at the God or goddess of peacefulness, harmonious, pious. You bring lots of happiness and warmth. You give other people reason to live, reason to lie, reason to love. You are the God or goddess of unionship. And darling, I'm not going to be really saying any name of God or goddess. You can just go and Google it. That who is the goddess of unionship, who is the God or goddess of having a beautiful family life, who really brings lots of family and emotions together and giving healthy relationships. Yeah. Also, you are, oh my God, the horseman is here. Wow. Okay, so I'm getting you are also the god or goddess of movement. Movement, uh, speed, um, transformation, going to the next level. Wow. So you are, like some of you may be Sagittarius watching this video because I got the horse and... A kind of horseman is kind of giving me like Sagittarius vibes. Uh, you are also someone that uh, you are the warrior. Yes, I was getting the public like, warrior. Yes, warrior. You are the god or goddess of warrior. Like, you know, Lord Kartike. Lord Kartike is here. Lord Kartike is here. Wow. So let's move on to the other oracle cards. I can see that you are someone that you really make change. And I can see lots of redness is here. Redness is all about confidence. Redness is all about Mars, active action. Redness is all about your power. You are so powerful. You are so warm that you go and melt other people's heart. You're very warm, loving, cuddling, adorable. People love your aura. People love your energy. People want to be with you every time. I don't know, my darling. You got a very magical type of a bubbly personality. That everywhere you go, you really attract lots of people towards yourself. Maybe you, maybe you know, realize it or not. But you got the vibe that you attract. You attract lots of, lots of energy towards yourself. You got the power. Oh my God, familiar cat guardian. I told you, you are a warrior. You are a guardian. You are cat. Cat means spirituality. Lots of cat lovers are here. Lots of spirituality, psychic, witches are here. You know, you are very much protective. You are, like, people feel protected whenever they're with you. People feel that nobody can harm them because you are there to protect them. You are the god or goddess of protector. You are the god or goddess of um, guardian, protector. Wow. Okay, you give protection. Protection is here. Also, I got the Watchtower of the North, the Winter. That is giving me the Goddess Dhumavati. I don't know why. Goddess Dhumavati is all about clearing the karma. So you are someone, my group number four. You can call yourself the God or Goddess of clearing the karma. Or coming out. You help other people to come out of the karma. Come out of those karmic relationships. Or karmic death. Okay, you get the, you know, you give some kind of like clearance or you give the power uh, to come out of something that is not worth it. 
like you got that thriving vibes like you know how to how to stay in a situation when there is like everything against your will but you still stay and complete the job complete everything you are very much awakened person watching my video because symbolic is there awakening is here you're someone awakened spiritually successful a witch a psychic a spellcaster you may be someone like you know you work through your emotions you are the god or goddess of mystery i even i even did i tell you about uh egyptian vibes that i got it Maybe I told you, right? So I was telling you about the uh, goddess busted. And goddess busted is basically the cat. The cat goddess that is the busted. So you got it. You got these vibes. You got these vibes by group number four. You are mysterious. You are mysterious. You can... Oh my God. You can see things. You can feel things. Your heart is something that is always talking to you. My darling, you help other people to come out of bad things. You give other people lots of, lots of nurturing energy. You make other people feel successful. You give other people lots of acceptance. And you make other people feel comfortable in their own skin. My darling, you are an alien. <laughs> Let me tell you. You are someone, you got the vibe that you are an alien. You are not coming from this world. You are not coming from this universe. Your soul belongs to the different universe. You are just here to experience the human life human form i'm getting my pile number four number four you are my soul child whoever choosing this pile pile number four you are my soul child definitely you guys are very much connected to me that's why uh that's why you are coming back to my channel again and again if you're new don't worry you will come back okay you'll see that you will come back so the vibe that you got two of air okay the four of air and the star Mm, and and you got the wheel of wheel of fortune wow so you're very much lucky sagittarius energy is again here wheel of fortune um i'm getting the wheel of fortune is all about giving you success happy time and everything so you are someone my darling that you enjoy the flow because wheel of fortune sometimes the wheel is up sometimes down sometimes you get success sometimes you get failure you learn and again you go and succeed so my darling as the wheel really turned to the up and down exactly the way there is ebb and flow in the ocean exactly like your life you are the god or goddess of the wheel of fortune you are the god or goddess of luck you are the god or goddess of the star, name, fame, success. The star is all about wish fulfillment, dream fulfillment. You are a star seed watching my video. And you got child star seed coming from different universe. Your soul belongs to the different universe. You are just here in this earth to ex experience this earthly, I know, realm, this earthly vibe so that you can have this human kind of uh, experience. My darling, you may be an Aquarius watching my video. Your mind goes to different realm time to time. My darling, you two two sword is yours. So sometimes you, you you are very much like confused, like you don't know where to go. You don't know what to choose. But there is four of air. You took a nap, you got a rest, and you just understand that yes, I need to go to that place. So every time you take a rest, you rejuvenate yourself and come to the perfect decision. My darling, in this lifetime, my group number four, you will be receiving lots of crossroads. You need to make lots of choices. In your life and your life will be different according to those choices you're gonna be having lots of career choice you got lots of options in your career you can go this way or that way in your marriage you got lots of choice in your children if you want two or you want none or if you want four you got lots of choice in your home in your car you got lots of choice your life is based on your choice like you're gonna be really gonna be choosing one out of three or four like several choices our universe is going to be giving you because the universe is testing your vibe. Because my darling, you're going to be choosing the thing that is exactly the same vibe, that is exactly the, in the same vibe as you are. Because my group number four, always remember, whenever we choose something because we vibe the way that thing vibes. Because it's not that... I love it and I bought it. No, 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 no. Your energy vibe the same way that the material things or something that is exactly vibing the way that you are vibing. The vibe, the wavelength matches and you got attracted to that thing. 
Same happens with people. So if you really think that your ex was a cheater, my darling, you were vibing that way. That's why you got that person in your life. The person really give you some shock, some lessons. Your vibe changed. You got upgraded. You learned and your vibe changed and you are really coming out of that person, coming out of the relationship, coming out of that addiction, coming out of something that is not working for you anymore. This is why divorce happened. This is why those, you know, um, uh, job change, career change, you know, subject change, changing your look, changing your physical look happens because we change. Because our vibe, sometimes we attract something that is exactly the way we are vibing. So my group number four, you are someone, you enjoy the change because you are the wheel of fortune and you got the courage. You enjoy the ebb and flow, you enjoy the up and down. And whenever you are down, you always try hard to go to the perfect, to the upper position, okay? Because I'm getting you're so hopeful, my group number four, that no matter how bad the situation is, you will never be losing your hope. You will never be losing your hope. You're just, yeah, I know today is bad. The next day will be the best day of my life because I am the author of my own life, life chapter. So I'm going to be writing my chapter. My group number four, that's all I got for you. You are your own destiny maker. You are the key maker in your life. You're going to be making the key. I'm getting you got a very strong connection with your higher self as well. My group number four, you guys are very awakened. And sometimes, you know, my darling, you feel very dumb to talk with many people because you feel like they are so, so stupid that they really don't know how the life really works, okay? <laughs> my darling, maybe you've got a very hard time to have your own friend circle because you feel like nobody matches your vibe. But don't worry. Don't worry. You are someone. You are going to be having the perfect match that you really have because Nine of Swords in reverse, the end of boringness is here the end of boring cycle is here you're really gonna be opening a cycle that is full of oh my god i got the wheel of fortune here again so my darling believe it or not there is a chance the two wheel of fortune is coming here so there is a chance that you are about to get a huge success a huge lucky time luck is on your side you're about to get something that you have been waiting for for a long, long, long time. That you have been waiting for a long time and you're going to be getting it. I'm getting my group number four. You are the god or goddess of luck. You are the lucky charm for your family. You're the lucky charm for your future spouse. You're the lucky charm for your spouse. If you're already married and watching my video. You're the lucky charm for anywhere, everywhere you go. Because you bring lots of luck to wherever you go. You're very childish, you're very romantic, you're also very much flirtatious, and you're very much confident, a bad bitch type, you are very cartoon, you don't care what other people think about anymore, you are very much fast forward people, sometimes you feel that you are stuck, you don't know what you need to do, that's fine my darling, just take a rest, just take care, good, take good care of yourself and you'll find it. My darling, you deserve a very happy family, look at that, 10 of cups, you get 7 of cups, you're gonna be having lots of choices, my darling, if you are single watching my video, lots of choices are entering in your life. You're going to be choosing your person, so don't get uh, confused, my darling. Just pray to the God, pray to the universe, and choose the perfect one that you love. Okay, my darling, and trust on your intuition, my darling. Trust it. Don't doubt it. That's all I got for you, my group number four. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Also, my darling, subscribe to my channel with that bell icon so that you can notify by YouTube when I upload new videos. Till and stay blessed and happy. I love you guys so much. Mwah, 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 mwah.